Oh my gosh, this corner group is ridiculous. They were so fast. Uh, I mean, there's there's potentially what four or five of these guys could go in the first round. And six. We, six guys could go in the first round, <laughs> and we've we've knocked out one of those. At one point, was Clark Phillips. I, I don't think he's anywhere near that anymore. Uh, so let's just start with Clark Phillips, the third from Utah. Highly productive this year, but measures in at 5'9", 184, but 29-inch arms. And then a su- uh, over 4'5", one uh, in the 40. Not great from Mr. Phillips. Uh, you know, he's a nickel corner that's probably going to still be a good NFL player despite being short and slow. I mean, a 4 five, one's not even that slow. This group is just so fast that it looks much worse. But uh, – yeah, I, I, it's just tough. I, I think he's the day three player at this point. I wrote in my column yesterday, and we're going to talk about the other Maryland guy, but a guy you love, Jacorian Bennett, uh, who you think actually had better tape this year than Deontay Banks. I, I thought he played better, better. You know, a lot of teams are actually throwing toward but It's kind of the old South Carolina thing, right? You know, the, the guy that gets thrown at um, has to work a little harder. I thought Jacorian Bennett was that player. But yeah, 5'11, 188, ran a 4'3. I mean, he's he's fast and tough. Um the, the Maryland duo, man, just a, a good, good group. I think Bennett's versatility, uh, his special teams ability and everything is gonna get him drafted uh in the third round. Uh I think he can play boundary, I think he can play in the slot, and mm-hmm. I think he could play free safety. He showed he could do it uh, at the senior bowl. And then one four eight ten yard split, insane. Four three flat in the 40, 40 and a half inch vertical. Jacory and Bennett, man. Mobile native. Great. Yeah. He, Great he's, day. He, he's gonna be a good player. He is. Uh Deontay Banks, his teammate, just a little bit slower. Uh one four nine ten yard split, four three five forty, but he goes 42 inches in the vertical and eleven foot four in the broad jump. Deontay Banks round one. Oh, e- easy. I mean, I think we're talking top 20. Um, I think you could go over some of the traditional great corners. That I think you could be drafted above a Joey Porter when all said and done. And I'll say for my Pittsburgh Steelers, Deontay Banks is the corner that – he's the corner that Mike Tomlin's going to really like. I'll say that. Maybe he gets to 17. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he doesn't. We'll, f- yeah. we'll find out. Uh, not going in the first round, but probably going on day two is Julius Brents from Kansas State. Uh, great workout. His cone times and shuttle was – he had the best – did he have the best bo- – both, yes, amongst the corner group. Best uh, short shuttle, best three cone of the group. Um, um, let's talk about Emmanuel Forbes, a guy I know you're high on. Uh, is He runs a 4-3-5, 40 with a 1-4-8-10 split, but only 166 pounds. Is that knocked out of the first round? To you, yeah, I don't think there's a chance Forbes at 166 pounds goes in the first. But day two, you have pick. He's the pick six master. Maybe a team still takes a chance on him. Forbes draft stocks. Uh, no idea. Yeah, I don't know. He could go round two. He could go round six, and I wouldn't be surprised. But I'm I'm still in. I still think he deserves to be a day two pick. Christian Gonzalez, Oregon. Is he CB one? Yeah. Uh, easily top 10 easy top five overall player i think is what when my new rankings come out that may end up be where he's at Whoo, nice top five we'll see another no, Bijan robinson you know so we'll, we'll, we'll i'm see. sure you'll have Bijan very high uh, very high uh <laughs> i thought daryl looter from uh south alabama had a great workout as well uh I just think he's going to end up on day three just because of the numbers game is is going to is going to push him down a little bit. Um, let's talk about Joey Porter Jr. from Penn State, 6'2", 193, 34 inch arms, Shane, wow, for Joey crazy. Porter Jr. And then four four six and the forty one five ten split. Uh, his vertical and broad were very good as well, and. Got the genes, right? So Joey Porter Jr. is another one of those six corners you said would go in the first round. Yeah, I mean, I think he's locked into the first round. I tweeted his Raz next to his dad. Not too far off. 
Uh, another one of the first rounders, I presume, in your line of thinking here, Keely Ringo from Georgia. Uh, tests well, maybe not as good as I think he thought he was going to test, but good size. 6'1", almost 6'2", 207, uh, decent arm length. Uh, is Ringo still in round one? I think he's on the fringe. I, I think that sixth corner, uh, you know, that's where someone take Ringo in the first round, but there's so many teams that need a, a corner. I think a team like the Vikings taking a chance. Um, and the size and speed are so good, but the, the film is so inconsistent. I, I'm, I'm intrigued to see where he goes. Uh, Cam Smith, South Carolina. Tremendous workout from him as well. Also another one of those guys on the cusp of round one, kind of in that 20 range. 20, 20 to 31 range. Devin Witherspoon, Illinois, did not work out, but is – I imagine when he does work out at their pro day, it'll be similar to the rest of the Illini contingent <laughs> that tested. His numbers will be uh, ridiculous as well. Yeah, it's it's going to be good. I think he's probably top 15, you know, locked in pretty well in the first round, obviously. Um, so I'm there. And – uh Fastest corner, I got it right. DJ Turner. I couldn't say it on the spot on the pod, so I, I don't get credit, I guess. But on my predictions, I had him as fastest, but 426 was the fastest of the entire combine. I did not expect. That makes me sad. But sorry, anyway, sorry. 426 for uh DJ Turner. Um Nickel. Michigan, you know, yeah. whatever. But uh we, we think he's gonna be a nickel at the next level, probably. I do, but I, I, th- I, th- I think he's probably a nickel, but I think he could be a day two pick at this point. His tape is good. Like, he's a good cover corner, uh, but 5'11", 178 gets a little tricky. And we're not going to – we won't talk much about uh, Tyreek Stevenson from Miami, who had a great workout. Uh, Travius Hodges Tomlinson, I thought, worked out great as well. Just he's undersized. He's 5'8", 178. But yeah. if he was if he was 5'11", we might be talking about him in that first round conversation just on his tape. Right. He, he's, I mean, he's really very good. good. He's just, he's just short. Uh, last cornerback we'll talk about because I'm not going to not talk about the other Gamecock. And, and I talked about Andre Carter as probably the worst off season, I think of any prospect that was considered high. Has anybody seen an upward trajectory more than Darius rush from South Carolina has uh, between the Senior Bowl and now the Combine, Rush uh, 6'2", 198, 30, almost uh, 33 and a half inch arms, but a 4'3", 6", and the 40, uh, good vertical, good broad jump. He was over 8.5, 9 Raz, as, or 8.5 Raz as well. So Darius Rush, Shane, uh, is he locked into day two now for you? Yeah, I, I actually think him and Julius Prince from Kansas State, who we talked about before, I, I think round two is uh, – Good. I think they're both going to go there pretty darn close. All right, let's wrap it up now with the safety.